Hello everyone, Chef Lee here with a great entree of an awesome barrel fish that comes from the deep waters just off of Miami. It was caught in about a thousand feet of water. It's so awesome. So we're making the barrel fish and we're going to make a quinoa pilaf to go with it as well as grilled carrots. And here we go. This is the quinoa pilaf and how it's done. So first we have our hot pan to which I'm adding some olive oil and then I'm going to add onion. And we're just going to wet the onion very well. I'm using a tri-color quinoa here that is organic as well, of course. So in goes the quinoa. That was half an onion in there, by the way, half a small yellow onion. And this is one cup of the tri-color organic quinoa. So we're going to just saute the quinoa up a little bit here. So we're just sweating the quinoa a little bit. You're not really browning it per se, as much as you are just kind of getting a little bit of that onion flavor uh, into the quinoa. And you're just letting it sweat just a tiny bit so that um, when we add the stock here, it'll absorb it really nicely. Now the ratio is two cups of stock to one cup of quinoa. So that's what I have here. In this case, this is chicken stock. Since we're making a fish dish, you can use a fish stock as well. I just like the flavor of the chicken stock, so that's why I'm using it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, now we're at a brisk boil. So what I do is I put on the lid, and we're gonna turn down the heat. So just as low as our stove can possibly go and let it sit for about 20 minutes or so. The quinoa has finished cooking. So we're, what we're doing here with these peppers, we're just grilling them, give them a little bit of color. Then we're going to chop them up and put them in the quinoa peel off as well. So in order to grill them, all we do is put just a little bit of olive oil, spread just a little bit of olive oil on the pepper, all the way around. And uh, just let it sit on there and grill for a minute or two, getting a little black color as it goes all the way around it. And then while those peppers are cooking and make room for our carrots. What we're going to do with the carrots, we're just going to put a little bit of olive oil on top, just a little bit, and a little crack of Himalayan pink salt and crack up Toss those around a little bit, and then we're going to put the carrots onto the pan. You see just a little blistering color is really what I want on these carrots. I peeled the carrot, of course, and then turned it kind of diagonally, and then sliced the carrot diagonally all the way down. So it came out a little elongated. That's what you see there. So you can see the carrots have got a good flavor on both sides. I'm just removing them to my board here. We're gonna put on the barrel fish to cook now. The barrel fish is only gonna take about two minutes per side. Uh, right here, I'm just oiling the grates. All right, we're gonna put just a little olive oil on the fish. Now this is the fleshy side. I'm gonna add this little salt and pepper. Fish about a minute this way. A slight turn here so that it gets a nice crisscross grill mark. Flip over our fish. Oh, beautiful, huh? Our fish is very nearly done. Here is our quinoa that has finished cooking. Just going to add our peppers to the quinoa. Okay, now let's plate her up. Carrots first. Cool. And I have a little fresh avocado here, sliced about three quarters of the way through, and made nice little slices here. This is a simple ring mold. All this ring mold does is. Uh, Keep your quinoa a nice little tight ring on your plate here. There you go. And then our fish bangs right on top, just like so. On top, I'm going to put just a little zest of both the lemon and the lime, just over the fish. Lemon. And a little lime juice we need. 
squirt of the avocado. And just squirt it kind of on the avocado only. A little squirts to the fish, it's no big deal. And a little salt. So here we have our beautiful entree of the Atlantic Waters barrel fish that comes out of a thousand feet of water, along with the quinoa pilaf, grilled carrots, and fresh avocado with lime and salt and pepper. You can do it too. It's easy to eat healthy.